role of carbon dioxide during respiration. Respiration is a process through which energy stored in organic molecules is released for growth and other life processes. During respiration, organic food breaks down into simpler substances and liberates carbon dioxide and energy. Respiration that requires oxygen is called aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration takes place inside the mitochondria. The respiration that does not require molecular oxygen is called anaerobic respiration. This process occurs in the cytoplasm of the cells. In this experiment, we shall look at the release of carbon dioxide gas during aerobic respiration by plants and human beings. Respiration in plants To do the experiment we require a test tube a beaker containing distilled water germinating seeds of bean a cork with a hole a conical flask measuring cylinder freshly prepared potassium hydroxide solution petroleum jelly thread and a glass delivery tube with two bends at right angles Procedure Using a spatula, place about 30 germinating bean seeds in a conical flask. Pour 4 ml of potassium hydroxide solution into a measuring cylinder. Transfer the potassium hydroxide solution from the measuring cylinder into a small test tube. Tie a cotton thread around the neck of the test tube. Suspend the test tube in the conical flask above the germinating seeds. Close the mouth of the conical flask with a cork. Insert one end of the delivery tube into the conical flask through the cork and dip the other in a beaker containing water. Observe the position of the water level in the delivery tube. This is the initial reading of the water level in the delivery tube. Use your finger to take some petroleum jelly. Then apply the petroleum jelly on the cork to make the apparatus airtight. Keep the apparatus undisturbed for 2 hours. After 2 hours, you will see that the level of water has risen in the delivery tube at the end dipped in the beaker of water. Note this level as the final level. The germinating seeds in the conical flask release carbon dioxide during respiration which is absorbed by the potassium hydroxide solution kept in the small test tube. This creates a partial vacuum in the flask and it forces the water up the delivery tube. Thus, it proves that germinating seeds produce carbon dioxide during respiration. Precautions Ensure all connections are airtight. The freshly prepared concentrated solution of potassium hydroxide solution should not be kept for later use. Respiration in humans To do the experiment we require Freshly prepared lime water A cork with two holes Two glass tubes bent at right angles and a boiling tube. Procedure Pour freshly prepared lime water into the boiling tube so that it is three-fourth full. Take a cork with two holes and fix it into the mouth of the boiling tube. Insert the glass tubes, let us name them A and B, into the boiling tube through the cork so that the end of glass tube A dips in the lime water. Breathe out air with full force by putting your mouth at the end of tube A. Continue doing this vigorously for at least one minute. The bubbles of the air breathed out gradually turn the lime water milky. The only gas that can turn lime water milky is carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide reacts with lime water, it forms calcium carbonate, thus giving lime water the milky appearance. So. We can conclude that both plants and human beings produce carbon dioxide during respiration. Precautions 
use freshly prepared lime water. Breathe out air for at least 1 minute. 